Hi guys, so I want to show you guys something that I actually think could be useful for a lot of people that have large drip trays like this. Uh, so I have been pouring uh, five gallon buckets worth of sort of muddy dirty water into the uh, either into the pump pit or into the filter sock area and then watching how long it takes for the, um, the water to clear up. And what I noticed is that after the first couple times, the, the, the amount of time it took for the water to clear up was shrinking. It was getting lower. Like it seemed like the, the sump as it got dirtier was working better. And so that didn't really make sense to me. So I went and opened up over here first. Let's do this. We'll turn our, I got one of these deep water DC uh, pumps quite nice. So turn this, turn the pump down, lift the drip tray up. And this is what, I, this is what I saw. All right. So basically what's happening is the, the water's, the water's spilling through those circles onto these, um, polyester, you know, filter pads. Well, what had happened was, uh, I had cleaned out one of my canister filters and a bunch of the, the rocks, carbon, this stuff, little tiny, these tiny flakes, a lot of that stuff had spilled out into the five gallon bucket that had all the other wastewater in it. I poured it into the sump and the uh, carbon got distributed uh, across the holes like this rather evenly. Now, y y at first it's probably not obvious what this, what this, the purpose this serves, but what I believe is occurring is the water is, we'll put it back here. As the water, as it comes down the drip tray and falls through these holes, you can see what's occurring under here. So that the, the water's really slow. It, it's moving slowly. It's just kind of a light pour. There's 64 holes, and through those holes, the water's kind of slowly dripping. And by basically, all I have to do is just pour, literally pour. Uh, rocks particles into the end here, you know, remove the filter socks, pour the rocks rocks in, and it will wash over the filter, tra the, fil the drip tray down onto the um, polyester and make little circles. And then from, from that point on, the, um, the circles will continue to absorb stuff. You know, so as, as the natural process here sort of occurs, you know, as the water drips down onto these little, little areas, it will fall through that, that carbon layer that's built up. The little little mountains of carbon like that you can really see it right there so the so the dirt falls through you know the bigger dirt falls through and kind of gets pulled into the subsequent layers but chemical stuff and really tiny particles that'll bind to that carbon they stay put on the carbon and so you know all i have to do to to refresh this system is let me show you i'm, I'm, I'm running out of this stuff so Got too much left. Basically, just pour it into. So what'll happen here is the rocks will gradually, as it sinks, will get pulled out over the drip tray. It'll get pulled underneath, and you can see it traveling up. See it? So that's the baffle. So it, it comes. The, 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 the water pours in from the tank into the. Uh, filter sock pit and then under the baffle and then over the top right there and out onto the drip tray and so that that process automatically distributes the carbon you know, quite nicely and you can actually see it coming over the top if you look very closely it's actually hard to see but those you can see the little carbon pieces running around they're trying to find a hole so those little pieces of carbon are, are being deposited on this this layer and then the water is dripping through the, the carbon deposit and the, uh, the filter pad layer. And I think that's really effective. I really do because uh, it's, it's easy to, to manage. You know, you, you just uh, pull off the drip tray, uh, either pour more rocks in the top up here. Let's give this a little help. Pour more rocks in the top to, to let it recharge, you know, to, to basically put another layer on top of the drip tray. Um, or you can just pull the drip tray up and remove that top layer of, of material, put another layer down, and then put the rocks in the top and let it wash over. 
So you can always replace that top layer of filter pad and, rock and, and carbon very easily. So the key here is the water velocity. You know, you, you got to get your holes spread out right. You can see I have it tuned really well. Like the water washes up almost to the end, pretty close. Well, and this is on low, actually. Let's, uh, let's crank it up. All right, so now it's, it's running full blast. And you can see the water's really washing now. So that water is being just distributed. Let me come around here and show you. You got to slow the water down. That's the key. There we go. You can see how kind of well distributed the, the, the water is, the water itself is. So each one of those little, each one of those little things is falling through, um, you know, a little pocket a little pocket of of carbon like here's a good example well it's really hard to see actually but i like this I, i'm gonna i'm gonna invoke something very much like this uh, once the sump is connected to the main tank i'm gonna use this mechanism i'm gonna intentionally um i'm gonna intentionally flood the uh the sump with this rocks carbon i'm gonna let it get caught just like this did. So let me show you guys one more time. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd, I'd love to see someone else try this. If you have a drip system like this with a big central media chamber that can really slow the water, um, you know, get some get some real light granule uh, carbon like like this rock stuff, very very tiny, lightweight, and uh, try this out. See how it performs. I, I'm gonna show a couple of videos um, that show the performance of this setup and how fast it cleans the water up. It's pretty impressive. This is me pouring um, the first Fluval filters contents into the sump. And you can see it cleans it up in the span of about five minutes. So here's the second test. This one's got, a, got better lighting. You can really see, I mean, look at the clock at the top right. Just look how fast it is. So, and that's, that's just that, that filter sandwich in the middle. You know, there are parts missing. Um, from from the sump, you know, the the filter socks are not up there, <clears throat> and the uh, carbon purigen uh, final stage right before the pump is not installed. Uh, yet it still has no problem, in, you know, restoring the, uh, the the water to crystal clear. It does take it a little while. You can see it kind of plateaus right here. It kind of gets to about actually it gets a little it gets a little more clear than this, but then it sort of plateaus for a while. And then uh, if you wait a little while, let me fast forward right here real quick. <clears throat> there we go. So over the course of like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or so, uh, the water goes from utterly and completely brown to the point that it won't, it won't transfer light to uh, nearly perfectly clear. And I really do credit a lot of that to, to, to the carbon, the little carbon mountains. So, um, yeah, comments, questions, you think this is dumb, if you think it's cool, if you have other ideas, uh, let me know. Hit me up in the contents or uh, check out the live stream. It's on 24 hours a day and uh, all about fish all the time. Anyway, good luck, guys.